Je vais juste rentrer. Ok, si je vais. Je vais te donner ta rose. Oui, je vais te donner ta rose. What's the best piece of advice you've ever heard? An excellent question that started a recent Toastmasters meeting. It immediately set my mind back to a brilliant piece of advice encapsulated in three simple words. Develop your urgency. Toastmasters and fellow procrastinators, <laughs> I'd like to share with you why that piece of advice had such an impact on me. I'd like to share what I believe is the true meaning around that statement. And I'd like to talk about how to implement that into our lives. Let's get started. Let me be honest. I'm not the kind of person that anyone ever called Mr. Urgent. Down the paths of life, I was not sprinting. I was a meanderer, a wanderer, a drifter. People would say to me, Ronnie, if you were any more relaxed, you'd be in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> My spirit animal was some kind of a cross between a sloth and a koala bear. <laughs> And my motto was definitely go with the flow. I was in a band when I was at school with my friend Gordon. In contrast, he was Mr. Urgent. You didn't have to be a specialist doctor to diagnose Gordon with a severe case of having ants in his pants. <laughs> no sooner had we got the band together than Gordon wanted us in a studio. All of a sudden, we had a song recorded and written. Gordon got that song printed into CD format, designed the cover, distributed it to shops around Glasgow, somehow managed to convince our headmaster to promote it to the school and the school tannoy system. I hated that. We weren't ready. We weren't good enough yet. We hadn't rehearsed enough. And the truth is, I was right. The single didn't sound good. Our singer, who is Gordon's girlfriend, had the unique ability to sing in any key, apart from the one that we were playing in. <laughs> they say that love is blind, but it turns out sometimes it is tone deaf. <laughs> Gordon would push forward, I would pull back. Eventually, we went our own ways. The result? Gordon lived out his dreams touring the world playing music. Whereas I have songs from that time that never saw the light of day. Develop your urgency is something that had an impact on me when I reflected on things like that from my life. Eventually I did take action in my life and I'll take you back to 2021. It's the last day of an event called UK Fruit Fest. A seven day health and wellness festival that I put together in 2014. We had speakers gathered from around the world to share their philosophies on health and lifestyle. And as the speakers were on the stage, they were all giving their last piece of advice to the assembled audience. It came to Dr. Doug Graham, a controversial and colorful character that is lectured around the world for many decades. As a health coach, he's taken on Olympic athletes, NBA champions, Hollywood superstars. Develop your urgency, he said to the audience. In his experience, for some reason, he'd seen that amongst the young generation, he saw people who were enthusiastic about making changes and trying out different things. Whereas the older generation that made up a lot of our audience, he saw them put things back and put it back, when it would have more of an impact for them at that stage of their life. It made me think back to another friend of mine. Bill was a retired train driver who at 70 years old was diagnosed with an incurable chronic disease. 
he decided to try and find some way of maybe getting through this and ended up going to different events where I met him. And when I met him, he was considering going to a 30 day intensive health retreat to try and get himself going. He told me that he just couldn't face paying the money and he never went. And in truth, Bill never really got going. Many years later, I was sitting with him and he was much sicker at that point. And he was desperately asking me to try and get him arranged to go to this health intensive. All of a sudden, the money wasn't an issue. But a couple of days later, he passed away. He'd waited far too late to take action. I realized that that piece of advice was about the idea that we can't just wait for urgency to make us take action. We sometimes have to develop it far in advance. How would I incorporate and bring that into my life? I had to figure out a way to get me going, something that would stimulate myself. And interestingly enough, it came across at the same time with an idea that I heard that I also thought was very impactful for me. Whatever you do last minute only takes a minute. Wow. Whatever you leave to the last minute only takes a minute. I never thought about that that way. I took this attitude of urgency into my life. I realized that sometimes it took me to that last minute to make a change and do something. I took that attitude, I started to break down the things I had in my life into little tasks. I allocated a time slot to them, but a short time slot. And then something I thought really helped, I put a countdown timer in place in front of my visual view. And I tried to develop the attitude that this was my last time that I'd be able to do this. For some reason, as dumb as that might sound, that's helped me. It helped me to get more tasks done and be more productive. And I think most importantly, it's brought a new confidence for me in my life as I prepare to go ahead for the future. If you're not like my friend Gordon, someone that's naturally taking action, maybe you should take the advice of my friend, Dr. Graham, who has seen that behavior in the top performers of the world. So don't worry about it. If you find yourself sometimes struggling to take action, consider developing your urgency. I urge you to consider it.